Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of I'm Gonna Screw Up Another Phonetic Language and Get People Pissed Off at Me. Anyway, you have the rhino, and we're drinking a beer from Sweden. That's right, from Sweden. This is Sigtuna Br well, Brigus, Sigtuna, Sigtuna Brigus. Sigtuna Brigus Midwinterblot. Midwinterblot, which is supposed to be an imperial double porter. Um... Yeah, we're not even going to get into that. So it's supposed to be a double porter. 8% um, alcohol by volume. That's going off of untapped. I've seen it rated as an imperial stout. I've seen it rated as an imperial porter. And I've seen it uh, just as a strong beer. Actually, the LCBO says it's just a strong beer. Why would we give you... Ooh, lots of smoke. Ooh. Now this has been out of my fridge for about an hour now, an hour and a half maybe. So it's it's kind of warmer than it would than I'm guessing many of the people that would buy it in Ontario would drink it at. And yeah, that's being um, somewhat assumptuous of myself, but yeah. Um, just the way I like my stouts, in all honesty, though, about an hour and a half to two hours out of the fridge. So it's still just below room temperature. And when I say room temperature, I'm in my basement. It's it's pretty much cellar temperature down here. Maybe a degree or two higher. Anyway, look at that head. That head is beautiful, a nice brown head. The beer itself is black, as black as the black blood of the earth. Ooh, that is nice. Now, I hadn't tried this yet, and I sent a bottle of it to my good pal and one of the beer reviewers that I take very seriously, I sent it to Hoogley's Beer Reviews, Lee L. Harlock, and he really liked it, so I'm hoping that I like it just as much as him. Um, oh, it smells beautiful, though. You get lots of chocolate, lots of toffee, lots of, uh, lots of molasses, even. I'm getting almost like a triacle molasses, um... With, with toffee, with chocolate. Lots of malt, just malt on, in general. Um, almost, almost like a Malta, the, uh, the malt beverage you can buy, which basically just smells like regular, regular malt that's just been brewed down. Uh, so you're getting, you're getting a lot of sweet malt, you're getting caramel, you're getting toffee, you're getting, you're getting molasses, you're getting chocolate. It just smells delightful. It smells delightful. My very first scent my very first scent, my very first sniff of the glass. I did get a little bit of alcohol stringency on my nose, but it didn't breathe for very long. I basically poured it, showed you the color, and took a sniff of it. But the more I've been sniffing it, the less... Well, now there's none. So, let's give it a try now, guys. Cheer yo, good sirs and madams. I'm sorry, I'm showing you the Black Oak 10 Bitter Years label. I'm going to turn that this way. I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Now, like I said, this is warm now. This is basically right where I like it, but still a little warmer than I usually review them at. I'm usually down one or two degrees. So I'm seeing this basically for exactly what it is. Um, I'd say I usually review my stouts in the in the 10 to 12 range, maybe, maybe all the way up to 15. I'm gonna guess this is about 16 or 17 degrees. That being said, 8% alcohol, don't taste it. Don't taste it at all. The original sip, the very first sip was beautiful. Chocolate all the way through. Caramel all the way through. Toffee all the way through. Molasses all the way through. And then a bit of bitter, dark coffee. Like full on black coffee, bittered and roasted. And just that full on European dark roast on the background. second and third sip lost a lot of the chocolate there's not as much chocolate on the taste anymore however without the chocolate you are now picking up uh, notes of almost fig and plum very 
fruity. Uh, just for seconds though, it's uh, super fruit esters and then they're gone. Still, the uh, background bitterness is there. Again, it's a dark, dark roast coffee. Almost, almost espresso like. Oh, this is a beautiful beer. It's so well rounded from the from the bitterness on the background to the sweetness on the forefront. And the, just those fruit esters that are just sneaking in, they're sneaking in every once in a while. Sometimes on the tip of the tongue, sometimes in the middle of the taste sensation. It's just slipping in and going, hi, I'm here, and then boom, gone. It's actually beautiful. I really, really like this beer. I really do. Um, Sigtuna Midwinter Blot, eight uh, percent alcohol by volume. I would give this beer. Hmm, hmm, what would I give this beer? I don't want. See, I want to toss it a nine, but I don't want to at the same time. I don't know if it's really up there to a nine, or if it's just I haven't had as many good stouts and porters lately that I want to give one a nine. <coughs> I can't give it a nine. I can't. Uh, the the burp was too watery. The burp sold it. The burp was watery. Uh, eight seven five out of ten. In all honesty, it's a really solid st uh, well porter. It's or stout. Uh, it's a really solid porter stout. I've I've again I've seen two different listings on two different websites and since uh, I don't read Swedish I can't tell what it's actually supposed to be so I'm gonna go porter yeah I'm gonna go porter because it is a little lighter mouthfeel than a stout and uh, I actually haven't had many wrong goes on on untapped yet especially when the logo for the beer is there which usually means that the brewery itself did it instead of somebody adding it in so. From what I've from what I've come across, because usually the IBU is there and all that, and when I when I search that out, it's usually right. So again, I'm I'm just talking out of my ass like I always do. Always talk out of my ass. I do I do the Jim Carrey. I want to ask you a question. Yeah, I do that all the time. Such a nice sipping beer. Eight point seven five out of ten, guys. Get it if you can. Sigtuna Midwinter Blot. See how many Swedish people I pissed off. Bye.